Micah Parsons tweeted, but y'all out here trying to convince me Dak's not top three in the MVP. Adam Manuelato, make it make sense. He quote tweeted a stat line of Dak Prescott and Patrick Mahomes. Same amount of wins. However, Dak Prescott has slightly more yards and a few better statistics as it pertains to touchdowns and completions, etc. Bring us on camera, please. Joy, in our pre-show meeting, you said something fascinating. I will not take the wind out of your take. So what did you say? I think he should be in the MVP conversation. Mm -hmm. I think that that is fair. Here you go. Here, here you go. Shay. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it. Yeah. Oh, you don't want that? I, was, I mean, no, hey, I'm sorry. James sorry. is blessed with family. You know what I mean? <laughs> blessed with family. I think he should be in the MVP conversation. I should. Now, the, the conversation is very long, as mm -hmm. we've been having all season long. C.J. Stroud is in the conversation. Trent Williams is in the conversation. Tyreek Hill is in the conversation. Two is in the conversation. Mahomes, Hurts, Lamar Jackson. You know, there's the conversation is a long conversation. Sure. Uh, which we've been having throughout the season. But I, I have some, some standards for the MVP. Because we throw out and have and talk about the MVP. This person should win the MVP. This person should be in the conversation all the time. But what really is the MVP? It's really the best player best. on the best team. And generally, the most valuable player is the quarterback, which is why the quarterback usually wins, with the exception of a statistical anomaly, which would be, say, an Adrian Peterson. Okay, okay, yeah. So, that being said, what qualifies Dak Prescott this year to be at the top of the MVP conversation? Because I think he should be in the conversation. But if we're talking about right now, the season ends, there are a lot of people who think Dak Prescott should be the MVP, which to me is crazy. To be in the conversation is not crazy, but to win the MVP you have to hit some sort of criteria. So do they have the best record in the conference or the best record in the league? I think not. They don't. Yeah. Are they leading their division? No. 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 Is he specifically checking off any statistical phenomenon? Mm -mm. No. He's second in passing touchdowns. Not one. Second. Two. That's not the winner. That's second. Passing touchdowns. Second in completion percentage. And second in passer rating. He's not hitting any statistical phenomenon, nor is he leading in any of those categories. Are they beating good teams? Mm. No. Mm. Has he had a moment this season where we have come up here and said, Dak Prescott is unequivocally the best player in the league right now today. We watched football all weekend and came in like, damn, Dak Prescott. <laughs> did you see that? Dak, did you see that? James, I know we all watch football, but did you see Dak Prescott this weekend? <clears throat> Not once has that happened. What do they have? Well, you saw the little, little note at the end. They have a, a, a big, loud fan base, so that helps. He's got a star in the helmet. Honestly, factually, checklist, checklistically, <laughs> what is he doing that qualifies him to be leading the MVP conversation right now? What is he doing that would put him above Patrick Mahomes? What is he doing that would put him above Jalen Hurts? He's doing none of those things. So what is the thing that I'm missing here's other what, than the star? Here's what I found most fascinating, though. If I'm not, correct me if I'm wrong. I heard that Dak Prescott, you don't think realistically there's anything he can do to win MVP this season. Realistically speaking, no, because I don't think the rest of the league, the guys that are ahead of him, the guys that have been ahead of him in the conversation for this entire time, are all of a sudden going to take naps for the rest of the season and not continue building their MVP resumes. Mm. So unless he does one of these things, mm. or two really, because that, or three, he's going to need to do something else significant to build his resume. And while he may do some of these things, what are these other guys doing? What's Patrick Mahomes doing for the rest of the season? What's Jalen Hurts doing for the rest of the season? What's Tyreek Hill doing for the rest of the season? Are all those guys just, just resting? Like, they're cool? They're not interested in playing at the highest level for the rest of the season along with Dak Prescott? <clears throat> Here's what I find most fascinating. I don't think Dak Prescott should be top three in the MVP conversation right now. Absolutely, he should not be. However, Dak Prescott has an opportunity to win this MVP award for my money. Yes, he does. Because what Dak Prescott has the opportunity to do is play the Seahawks with the winning record. Mm -hmm. Then he has the opportunity to play the Eagles and see Jalen Hurts, mm -hmm. who many say he outplayed the first time they saw each other, though the Eagles won with the winning record. Then Dak Prescott has the opportunity to see Josh Allen, who currently leads the NFL in touchdown uh, passes. And people say Josh Allen is the second most talented quarterback in football. Then he has the opportunity to see both Tua Tungabailoa, who's top in MVP right now, top three, and Tyree. 
Tyreek Hill. Yeah. Then he has the opportunity to see yeah, the 8-3 yeah. Detroit Lions winning record. Dak Prescott has a better opportunity than Jalen Hurts, than Patrick Mahomes, than Tua Tonga Vailoa to win MVP because he has greater foes mm. and he has greater Goliaths. And he, if he can slay the Goliath of the Eagles, the Goliath of the Dolphins, if he can slay those Goliaths, then I do think it will catapult him over an individual like Mahomes or Hurts who's slaying a common man. Yeah. That's why I think Dak Prescott can win the MVP award, though James Jones right now, I don't think he should be top three. Well, I think he should be top three because Tua ain't beat nobody either. Mm -hmm. And Tua in a lot of people's top three. And Tua has another MVP on his team that we fighting for to get up there in the MVP conversation in Tyreek Hill. So for me, mm -hmm. I think Dak Prescott right now with what he's doing on the stat sheets, with what his team is doing, winning football games, the way they're winning football games, I truly believe the time is now for Dak Prescott to win the MVP. None of these quarterbacks are playing out of their mind, and this is a quarterback award. If he does what you just said and even wins five of these games, and his team is sitting with 13 wins, 14 wins during the season, and Dak Prescott is playing the way he is playing right now, Dak Prescott is going to win the MVP over Patrick Mahomes, over Jalen Hurts, strictly because of what he has left. And if he continues to play the way he's playing, throwing touchdowns, making plays with his legs, I believe that Dak Prescott will win the MVP. This is his best chance. It ain't going to get no better than this. Mm -hmm. And Dak knows it. It is not going to get no better than this <laughs> or easier than this for you to win the MVP if you do what you're supposed to do on the football field and play at a high level against these remaining teams that are really good on your schedule. I, I just, this is hard for me to, to believe that. I mean, I just think that no, no quarterback right now is just jumping no. out of here like, oh, my God, you got to pick oh. them. But the ones that are at the top, Jalen Hurts. If Jalen Hurts goes, I don't know, what, they, they, they 16 and 1, like, you gonna vote for, for Dak Prescott no matter how well he plays? All these type of things really matter. Even Mahomes, the way that Mahomes is playing with, with his team, the wide receiver he has, and he, and he gets his team to the, to the playoffs and et cetera, and, and, and top of the AFC, they don't get a vote. Mm -hmm. And another thing, I, when I watch, especially for the MVPs, when we talk about the quarterbacks, you know, you typically see player of the month, player of the week. I ain't seen Dak Prescott get none of them yet. Nobody. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying, no, yes, no, 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 no. Yes, they have. I was like, nobody? Yes, they have. What? Yeah. Patrick Mahomes just got his first week last week. Fuck him. That can't, <laughs> oh, that don't, that don't count? That counts. Another thing, it's only been two quarterbacks in the last 50 years mm. to win MVP, right, and don't win a division. I don't see the Cowboys winning the division, do you? It's going to be tough. Do you? No. <laughs> so, all this MVP talk is like because he had a couple good games against, and I'm, I won't. He got a chance. I won't say it. They are NFL teams, but they're not winning we teams. Know what you're well, my boy Jalen Hurts, yeah. he undefeated against some winning teams. Oh, you a playoff team? Cool. Loss. You get loss. Mm -hmm. he, he beat on the good teams. We're in the same question mark we have about the Cowboys, the same thing we have about the, Dolphin, the Dolphins. Are they a legit team? Do they, are they going to beat some legit teams? Because mm -hmm. they haven't yet. True. So we talk about well, the MVP you stuff. Come on. Let me man. ask you like, this, and I don't know if you, if you on, like this, but let me ask you. If Dak Prescott does, because to me, that's what we're talking about, I don't think he should win MVP right now. I literally showed y'all my ballot. He's not in my top five. But if Dak Prescott does beat the Dolphins, winning record, beat the Lions, winning record, beat the Seahawks, winning record, beat mm -hmm. the Bills at 500, but we assume the Bills will have a winning record. Thus, he would have beaten Jalen Hurts and the Eagles, winning record. If Dak ends up 13 and 4, or 14 and three, and the Eagles end up 15 and two. It's not so substantial that I'm like, man, but the Eagles were 15 and two when you were 14 and three, so Dak, you're disqualified. I think he could be in that conversation. He should win it then. Yes. So the whole season doesn't count because Jalen Hurts also beat the Dallas Close Cowboys. Yep. And you can say whatever you want about who outplayed who and whatever, cool, but you lost. Mm -hmm. So you didn't make the plays you needed to make. You right. still lost. So does that count? Is that one, that they're, count? They're okay, so, so the Eagles have also beaten the Chiefs and beaten mm -hmm. the Bills and beaten Dallas. And if this goes this weekend and beats the Niners, Ooh. like it's the whole resume. It's not just this stretch of statistical great stuff. And I don't want to take away from how Dak is playing because sometimes these conversations get so hyperbolic. It does seem like it's a negative thing. Dak is playing great football right now. But what happens is you have a stretch and then everyone forgets everything else that happens. It's a whole season. This is a regular season, whole season award. 
Everything counts. So, yes, if you ask me at the end of the season, if the Eagles have won the division, they have won the conference, they have a bye, Jalen Hurts is as good as we know he is based off of his entire resume of who he is, which, which is included in this because we know what Dak is capable of as well. Mm -hmm. They don't win the division. They're a wild card team. And you're telling me that because Dak Prescott went on this stretch at the end of the season, that he is the Best player in the National Football League? That doesn't even sound right. Well, here's, let me try, let me, let me, let me make it sound right. No, I'm saying, but Dak being the best player. But, let but, me, but, let like, me, but like, I'm saying, why I'm arguing so fervently against this, one is because the whole resume has to count. It can't just be a stretch at the end of the season. What did you do all season long? Mm -hmm. But also, what point, at what point did you say Dak Prescott is the best player? player in the NFL. He is the best quarterback in the NFL. He is the reason that this team, the reason, the reason, because we know Patrick Mahomes is the reason, mm -hmm. right? We know Jalen Hurts is the reason. Dak Prescott is the best player in the NFL. He is the best quarterback in the NFL. And he has been, from start to finish, the best player in the National Football League this season. Well, I'm not saying it's not possible, yeah. but I'm saying if you finish as a wild card team, and you didn't even win your division. And that but, guy in your division has been leading the MVP conversation all season long. And that sounds crazy to me. Yeah, but but at the end of the day, number one, if Dak Prescott finishes this stretch out and you, like you saying, and don't lose a game and beats all these quarterbacks, he is going to win the MVP. And it's so close right now, you know, so it's not like somebody's jumping out there. If Jalen Hurts wins the MVP, he a better quarterback than Patrick Mahomes? No, so it doesn't go off of that. It really goes off of really how hot you're going to get and the big-time teams that you beat. If he beats these big-time teams and plays the way he's playing right now, four, five touchdowns a game, and he finishes the season with 40 touchdowns and six, seven interceptions, Dak Prescott wild card or not, Gonna win that James, thing. let's say, let's say the only game that Philly loses for the rest of the season is against Dallas. And, they and, two and, games. and Dallas and Dallas. So that they, they, they finish the season like that. The only teams that the Philadelphia Eagles have lost to mm -hmm. is the New York Jets and the and the Dallas Cowboys. And, two. and the Eagles, I mean I'm sorry, and the Cowboys finish this stretch and out. Undefeated. Unde undefeated. Yeah. So now you're giving, now, you're giving now, the, go, now I gotta go to numbers. Because you split one and one with Jalen Hurts. So and all, all those all those losses earlier in the season for Dak Prescott. Hold on, losses is four five losses. Well, let me four or five. Four or five. Four or five. Four or five. Wait, let me let me. Four or five. That's three losses. That me, is but, so significant when but, you're talking about the MVP. Let me contextualize. It would be three losses to two losses. The Cowboys would have three losses if they went out, because they're eight and three right now. The Eagles would have two losses if they lose to the Dallas Cowboys yeah. at the end of the season. Yeah. Three losses to two losses. Jalen Hurts became MVP favorite after he beat Patrick Mahomes. Prior to that, Jalen Hurts was not the MVP favorite. We all know after Eagles beat Patrick Mahomes, 17 to 7 come back, that's when he became the favorite. I think if Dak Prescott finishes the season at 14 and 3, to me, 14 and 3 and 15 and 2 isn't Don't so substantial. I will say it matters, but it's not so substantial, no. Joy, that I would look past all the other stuff. Not to mention, my only last final thought is Dak Prescott's streak really started week seven after they lost to the ninth. What about Patrick Mahomes? Patrick Mahomes is all, I think Patrick Mahomes he is solidified to be in the top three. He he's always, always going to so be. So what if Patrick Mahomes wins out? Yeah, he going to go get he, well, here, No, here's Pat's problem. <laughs> here, well, here's Pat's problem. What you, uh, they say uh, maximal, po maximal potential is when like the heightened level of difficulty meets your maximal level of ability. Patrick Mahomes doesn't have the opportunity to face really good opponents the rest of the season. So I'll tell you all Mahomes' schedule, then we'll talk Dax. He has the Packers, the Bills, the Patriots, the Raiders, the Chargers. Let's speak in quarterback terms. He has Jordan Love, Josh Allen, maybe Bailey Zappi, Adrian O'Connell, uh, Raiders quarterback, mm -hmm. Jake Browning, and Justin Herbert. Meanwhile, Dak has Geno, Jalen, Josh Allen, Tua, Detroit Lions, Jared Goff. So Patrick Mahomes, he just doesn't have the opportunity. And 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 and, 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 how. and not only that, I know it sucks, but Patty Mahomes gonna have to do so much more just because he set that ceiling so high. And it's unfair, you know what I'm saying? It's unfair, but he's a prisoner he, of his own yes, success. He's gonna have to do so much more than Dak to, to, to win it if Dak goes on I don't the run. Think so. so if you look at the, the, the running right now, Dak is like plus 800, right? Mm -hmm. Jalen Hurts is 150. And then I, and the second is Mahomes. So yeah, Dak, I think, is third, Andy. I think Dak Prescott currently is third. Plus 800? What, what is he? Tied for third in the MVP oh, vote. Okay, so, so it's Jalen, Patrick Mahomes, then Dak. So my thing is, if, if Patrick Mahomes is just, does what Patrick Mahomes does, right? 
even if the, 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 the opponents, if he balls out statistically, we, he, he gonna be up he there too. Here. I thought they saw, so, I so Patrick Mahomes wins the AFC again. If, if Mahomes, uh, here's, the, here's the scenario. Forget the, forget the Eagles, right? <laughs> Patrick Mahomes wins the AFC again. 14 and 3. 14 and Dak 3. Prescott wins and Dak, out. No, no, no. Dak Prescott is not going to win the NFC. But if he wins out. So no, if he wins out and they're a wild card team, you're voting Dak Prescott I mean, over now Patrick we gotta Mahomes. We got to go to numbers. We got to go to the numbers. But this is my thing, though. So, so for, for Dak Prescott to get to this place he is right now, we didn't count none of the good teams, right? Because you're saying yeah. if he does it now. But what I'm saying is, even right now today, not beating the good teams, his numbers and the stuff he did against the weak teams got him in this position. Yeah. So what I'm saying is, you said Patrick Mahomes knew his, his schedule is against not as good opponents. Yeah. Cool. Now he always going to have a chance. That's what I'm saying. So if I just ball out and do what I got to do, yeah. he going to win. Yeah. The hard part for me as a voter is separating reality from, like, statistics. Because Patrick Mahomes, we all know, is more valuable yeah. to his team than any player. Like, Patrick Mahomes quite literally should win the MVP award outside of Jalen Hurts in perpetuity. Because he's more valuable to the Chiefs than any quarterback is to their franchise. Yeah, but he also wins. So he's not, he's not, but he's the, not just showing up. But he's winning the AFC. The right now. But he's, if he wins the... Like it's the but, same. It, but he's winning his but conference. But I'm saying Lamar going to win his. What so, if he does it? Mar like, Mar what, what if the Chiefs win? You're not win? in this conversation right we, now. We, we, we are, we're talking MVP. <laughs> but, uh, no, you're not, I was saying at the I end of this. the season, like, at the end of the season, because all of this is based on if scenarios anyway. Like, none of us are arguing that of Dak course. is the MVP right now. And I think all of us agree he should be in the conversation yeah, yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah. Yeah. He should be in the conversation. I'm talking about ifs. Like, that's all this conversation is based on. But what I'm saying is, it sounds a lot like to me that we are only considering the end of the season and not what's happened throughout the season. Well, like, that's all we're matters, picking and so choosing. Close. But it's, but why would the, why would Patrick Mahomes be penalized for having an easy, easy-ish schedule at the end of the season and not be credited just, for was, beating the teams well, that he did beat. I would say the same reason we, unfortunately, this is just true, yes. we unfortunately penalize the players, the teams that have less talented rosters. Like, the reason we know just how valuable some teams are is we're like, man, he ain't got nobody else. Yeah. Because he ain't got nobody else, we assume it's not Dak's fault his defense is so good. Right. Yeah, but in I'm all not honesty, even, I'm not even me, mentioning the rest of the roster with Dak because I don't even want to get into that. So, like, we penalize this. To me, val you get to prove value more. You get to prove value when you go against better opponents. But have the Chiefs not beaten anyone? The Chiefs have beaten the Jags. 17-9, but Mahomes didn't look great. The Chiefs beat the Dolphins, but Mahomes didn't look great. Another one. You like the Chiefs? They won. And, and the Dolphins, and the Dolphins win will count for the Cowboys, right? That's and, close. Right, and, and that's why I was saying because you know Dak Prescott, we, we was we wasn't penalizing for it, but we said he didn't beat no really good teams. Mm -hmm. But what I'm saying is the stuff he did against some weak teams got him in yeah. third place. He's being awarded so more I, for his right. first so performances is, against bad teams than penalizing for well, his losses against good teams. When we that's play fair. these, when we play these weak teams, yeah. get, I want the same credit he was giving Dak Prescott. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, I'm saying. And that's why I say it's unfair yeah. to Patty because of the standard. And and out of all and all three of these quarters, quarters we talking about to win this award. Only point. two of them was going to win a division and two of them was going to be but number one seed. But which the other one will not win a division and they won't be number one seed. That matters. It does matter. MVP. Subscribe here to get the latest from Speak and go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.